It is Bybit season and today let's talk about how you can trade on Bybit as a beginner. So let me let you know, trading is very profitable, but also it's stressful. If you don't know it, even those who know it, still they have to go through challenges. They lose money and sometimes depression and stuff. But well, life is all about risk. But sometimes you need to take calculated risks. You need to follow people who know. So today I'm going to share one or two things you need to know when you are trading with a Bybit platform. Then you will see, I have a trade that I don't know whether I'm losing or I'm winning, but you get to see that one. So straight, you see the interchange, uh, the interface is like this. So if you are a new user, you go to, you just go and uh, start sign up. You sign up and you start trading. So once you start trading, you are going to get a demo account where they will give you the opportunity to see the demo account and you can use the demo accounts to do your trading so and there are a lot of opportunities there are a lot of rewards that you can get using the bybit platform a lot of bonuses that you need to see you see demo accounts you click on demo accounts and you get opportunity to use the demo account so once you get in you need to do what verify that yes you are human and uh, to protect you so security ver verification is very important you can use that for any id card of your country and uh, you verify and start once you sign up so quick glance through when you go here we have web3 when you go we are mostly we are going to use the exchange web3 basically maybe if you want to store if you want that uh, type of wallet that you need to store your cryptocurrencies the ones that we have like uh on different platforms you can just go there but mostly we use the exchange so once you come here to you're going to see a lot of things you can join the vip program you can also be an affiliate whereby you get the opportunity to sign up and uh, sign other people up and make money so you can also see different things so once you come here you see the market trades derivatives mostly we use i use the derivatives whether usd perpetual or usd uh, usdc perpetual you can also do futures but let me go to, let's go to the derivatives for you to see so uh, usd perpetuals for you to see so you can see this is how it looks like and uh, currently i have a trade um, down uh, minus negative two so it simply means that a trade is not something that i'm going to i'm winning now but i'll win it eventually because the secret is that you can see it's gone up and has come down so i was here i could have ended the trade but i knew that no there are more opportunities up here because it's going to hit this yesterday's high it has crossed yesterday's high simple means it's going to be coming to bounce back and it's going to uh, give me that winning edge so there are things that you need to also look at there are things that you need to also look at once you are trading. Very, very important. There are things that you need to uh, look at. Very, very important. So I have uh, the moving averages, SMA9. And uh, I've, I've done it in such a way that you can see. I have the 32, 13, 5. And so the VWAPA. Then you can see so MACD. This is the MACD indicator. So once you look at this, it can give you an edge as to whether you're going to the, the whether the chart is coming down or is going up, right? So you can see like this. So it simple means here, here you can see that it is decreasing. Simple means the volume is the price is decreasing. People are buying it cheaper. They are selling rather. I get me so from here it's giving you an indication that things are getting out of hand then you can short so but you can see that actually it has shown that the decreasing is coming it's still decreasing I get me so once it even stands red you know that Kai the thing is so you can also look at here this side or this side you can see that it started increasing and that's, this was what influenced me to buy to long it right but now it shows that it's not decline and that shows that consistently because it keeps on moving consistently to show that it's coming down 
now you can see this one is also supporting this and once this one crosses this you should know that it's actually going down the blue the blue indicator crosses the kind of like is it yellow or whatever indicator it simply means the price is going down and in the same vein once it crosses up it tells you that the price will go up so let me show you a classical example here you see the blue indicator crossed the yellow or whatever you want to term it and it shows that it wanted to rise and you see that was why the price actually rose from this side all the way to that and once it was here you see that it crossed down and it started going down so this simple technique can help you to do more in terms of understanding your trade so once you sign up let me show you this you are going to get the standard the standard uh trading view like this but this i don't like it so normally i just switch to the trading view and this is the normal the trading view that me and you we all know we use and you can also open trading view on a different uh, chart and use that one but just i'm comfort comfortably using this one because i can read this one better and it just gives you the edge to be able to know so now this one the price shows that it's coming down but it can deceive you sometimes you see that so trying to come down but it's actually going up because someone has bought this growth and stuff but here you see that it is going to come down and it has consistently shown so you need to understand this and you need to trade well to be able to make sure that you understand or you are winning your trades and sometimes you need to understand stop losses and uh, taking profits it's here so to take profit or stop loss it will help you to either minimize the amount of money you're losing but with this one i don't have stop losses on that because i know the liquidity price which is going to be fifty-eight thousand. so practically it may come down it may just get me liquefied but now the price is around sixty-five thousand. So coming to 58,000 within a short period of time is practically impossible. But then I keep on monitoring this to see if the price is doing something I don't like, I can just end the trade. But in your case, you need to learn how to put in stop losses and uh, how to take profits because you need to minimize the risks involved. So that's a bit of it. That's a bit of it. You can join my Telegram group and I'll be sharing more and more of how to trade and also you get to learn and be you can also be an affiliate so thank you very much if there's value in this please kindly let me know if you have questions to let me know then we get to answer and do more thank you